Nebraska is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. a yard on the run and that was the freshman linebacker who was right there to make the play that brings up second and nine man left, man left. from their own 26 yard line Mike second down Mike 15. here we go Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back, and he's taken down at the 27-yard line. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you could shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. From their own 27-yard line, it's third down. There's a strike complete. And down he goes at about the 47-yard line. That was a nicely thrown ball with some arc on it. He's a very precise passer, and he makes it look easier than it is. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Hands it off, and they make the stop at the 49-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it second to seven. rid of this one great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback and right now i think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled third down and they need to get it inside the 43. this isn't even the best example but i'm going to tell you something this young man is really getting better at running his routes which is a truly underrated quality these days Play action. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. Not a safe pass at all. Really tight coverage and not a lot of room. Credit the receiver with going after that one and hanging on. From the 26-yard line, first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Nice run to the left there. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. It's the 11th play of the drive. Brought down at the 10-yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 10 yard line. Gets it out complete again to his tight end. Tackle at the six yard line. Play 13 of the current drive. He 
scramble. That's a great tackle at the one. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. This is the 15th play of this drive. A short yardage defense here. He's taken down just outside the goal line. Call it a gain of one yard. That makes it third and goal. We've got third and goal. About a yard to Pater. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. And he adds the extra point. A long 16-play, 74-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Nebraska's offense really centered around this quarterback. And as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film. And one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. First and 10, ball on their own 38. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. And they got him for a loss. This is a big time read by this safety. You know, a lot of times as a safety, you're sitting back there making sure there isn't a play action pass or a play potentially that can go behind you. I think this safety has that sixth sense. His instincts on that play were special. He read the run, got into the backfield, and made the play. Fires that quickly to the tailback, and he hits him hard at the 38. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7-0, Iowa. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Iowa is up seven. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. From their own 21-yard line, second down. Mike 15. Mike 15. Ready. Flash up the middle. Nice run to the outside. That's a game five on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Go a little up there. Check the outs out there. Here we go. Three and four, five. Three and four, five. And he just gets rid of it. That's going to bring up fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the secondary. Booming kick. And down he goes to the 38-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. That's good. That brings up second and 
from their own 39 yard line. It's second down. Gets to about the 41 yard line. by the quarterback. He had a slant called against zone coverage and threw it at the perfect time. That makes it first and 10. From the 49-yard line, first down. Let's go! 7-94! He fights forward to about the 49. That makes it second and 10. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. He's at the 30, gains his way to the 26-yard line. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense, third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring they need about three, three yards to get the first here on second down. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Nebraska is going to take their first time out of the hat. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 14-yard line. Makes it to the 12-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. The Cornhuskers use their second timeout. Just throws this one away. the catch but just not enough for the first yeah they're gonna come up a little bit short here nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down and it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down Scrambling. And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. He made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. So a 13 play, 61 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Nebraska to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. 
Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he's got it. And down he goes at about the 35 from their own 35-yard line. It's first down. Catches it, and that's all. The Hawkeyes are going to call their second time out. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Watch the team. Watch the team. Watch the team. 19. 3, 19. Throws it deep. Complete. It's a fumble. The defense scoops it out. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. We've played a half. We're even at seven in this one. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they've tried to come up with. So, to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's, it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And you got to find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run a reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. Heading into the third quarter now. Time all game. We're set to resume play. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. He fights forward to about the 26. From their own 26 yard line. Second down. Caught out in the open. He's out of bounds at about the 29 yard line. Green gets it to his tailback. That makes it fourth and eight. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. 
taken down at the 39. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Quick strike and he drops it. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wide out was left out to dry that time. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. A little counter, but he goes nowhere. No gain on the play. That makes it third and 11. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they make the stop at the 42-yard line. Gain of three on the play. Fourth down. Oh, excellent punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. So they pick up three on the option keeper. And there's not much he could do to get away from the junior safety on that play. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 23. Brought down the 21 yard line. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Tackled after a decent pickup. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Traffic and it's picked off. Number 52 with the interception. Oh boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47 yard line. Out of bounds at about the 39 yard line. First down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Go, 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 go. 
They go counter right. He fights forward to about the 29. Got the corner. Three-yard gain by the running back. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Gain three, three yards. yards. That, that makes, makes it first and From the 26-yard line. First down. Ready? Ready? He scrambled. And they got it. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. That brings up second and 13. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Gets it off as he's hit, completes. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Here's the eighth play of the series. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. It's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Nebraska could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's good. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Nebraska is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. End of the third, and we've got a tight one. 10-7, Cornhusker. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. yard line loss of five yards on the play third down well this is a quarterback's nightmare it's third down and very long and they really need a first down right here right fellas right let's go hey Mike. Green 95 Green 95 Run. He airs it out. Almost intercepted. Number 23 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and long. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Up to this point, I wouldn't want to be an offensive coordinator in this game, but you know what? There's still time left. There's still time left, and it's still a competitive game. As bad as these offenses have looked, if you can string together a play or two, maybe try to get in the field goal range, who knows? Maybe a touchdown on the board. It could be the difference in the game. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Nebraska holds a field goal lead. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Second and three. Ball on their own 42. He's going to try and scramble.
Third and six. Ball on their own 40. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol. Hurry up, tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Gets it out quickly. He's knocked out of bounds at the 29. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Handoff brought down quickly, and that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. Less than three minutes in the game. Nice run there. I think you got to give credit to the big boys up front there. They're able to get this back to room that he needed. From their own 35-yard line. First down. Pressured and brought down. Call it a loss of four yards on the play. That, that makes, makes it second, second and 14. 14. zone and that'll be a touchback you look up at the clock Herbie and there's not a lot of time to make something happen here no it's been ugly for both of these offenses you got to think about maybe spreading out the defense giving your quarterback a chance to either run or throw somebody's got to make a play here to determine the outcome of the game brought down after a nice run up the middle the Hawkeyes will use their first time out of the half second and six Ball on the 24. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And a quick throw. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. They lose three yards there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Whoa, he just took a licking. The Hawkeyes have got to be fired up how this game is going. They still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog that's battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they can put six points up on the board. Going long. And a great catch. And it's a whole new ball game.
Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. Delay of game, offense. Just over a minute left. And he converts the extra point. Iowa is ready to kick it away. And he got all this one great kick and they can forget about returning this one the Cornhuskers have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game yeah but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very very important now you just got to stay calm make good decisions and move his offense down the field he's scrambling and they make the stop around the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Now he's scrambling. Tackle at the 29. They don't have enough time to play dink and dunk football like this. They need to move the ball and do it quickly. can see the elation on the defensive coordinator side of things and why not his defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter so they're going to go for it here and if they don't convert here then the game is over so a big big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. He's taken down around the 26-yard line. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Second and short, ball on the 26-yard line. The ball pops free. And the ball hawking safety scoops it out. So the ball will change hands, and it'll be first down. This guy is about as sure-handed as they come, but fumbles do happen, and you can chalk this turnover up to a very aggressive defense. This has been a great game, and it all comes down to this. Who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. We have less than a minute to go. Motion, motion, motion. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. Nebraska is going to have to use their second time out of the half. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Quick out to his receiver. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. That's the kind of poise you'd love to see from your quarterback because it's contagious. The defense sent all of their linebackers on a blitz, and no one on the offense looked phased. They came away with big yards and a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 37. Go, go. 
He's got it with room to run. Tackle made around the 49-yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. 225! He's on the run. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. Game of eight on the play. That brings up second and one. And he stops the clock with a spike. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He wants it all going long. In and out of his hands. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. Someone's got to come down with it. And they'll take over on downs. fourth quarter in a one possession game and poise is what it's all about here who's going to have it and who won't we should just see the quarterback take a knee right here winding down the rest of this clock Nebraska has called their final timeout from their own 40 yard line second down Iowa is up by four he takes a knee And the ball game's over. The Hawkeyes take this one, 14-10. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Yeah, this was a great football game played by two teams that really wanted to win. Nebraska had a lot of chances in this one, but a number of costly mistakes squandered those opportunities. Eliminate the errors, and this one could have gone the other way. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.